on my way to work today, guys. I'm closing. Um, Kaylee's already off to work like usual. I would say that she'll be home, but she probably won't film until I come home anyways. Um, so yeah, I took Olive on a walk today. She's all pooped out from the walk, I think. Gonna take my motorcycle today. So I got all my stuff ready. <clears throat> my brother's at school, and Kaylee obviously took the car. So it's my only mode of transportation. I guess I will see you later. Hope you guys have a good day. Oh my goodness gracious! I just got home, and guess what I came home to find, you guys? That someone parked in my parking spot. I was pretty mad. All right, so the camera died on me in the car. I was trying to explain that when I got home, somebody was in my parking spot. And honestly, I was kind of worried about that happening. Um, just because it's like, I think that spot was empty before we got it. And so if anybody did used to park there because they figured out that it was empty, um, I was worried that they would try to park there still. Luckily, I was so relieved that at least the person, they put their phone number in the dash. So I called and this guy answered the phone and I was like, hey, um, you're in my spot, you need to move your car. And he was like, oh, okay, um, um, okay, I'll be right down. And the note in the dash said that he was working in a certain unit in the building and I'm sure that he just knows that contractors work in our building all the time and he ran down and I was sitting in another spot and he didn't know that I was the one that called but he ran down and he was just in his bathing suit with no shirt on and I know he wasn't working so whatever he moved his car parked it in guest parking and then I um, got to park in our spot so the car is parked, but it took like, it was like 15 minutes of me finding another place to park while I called him and then switching and whatever. So, bleh. But anyways, I'm home. I changed into some comfy clothes. I'm about to eat. I just made, um, you know, the typical. When I don't want to cook, I just make breakfast tacos. <laughs> breakfast tacos are like my go-to thing. And you know what, it's Cinco de Mayo, so does that count? I know that's not like authentic Mexican, not even close, but whatever. So um, hopefully Josh will be home soon-ish. He's riding his motorcycle tonight. I always worry about that boy when he rides his motorcycle, but um, I'm gonna eat, probably watch some YouTube videos, and then Josh will be home. So we'll see you guys later. I missed so much of that. Hey, are you excited Josh is home? Oh my gosh. You guys, Josh is home and he went into the bedroom and Olive ran down the hall and was spinning in circles at his feet. You are crazy. Go get Josh, go get Josh. Where is he? Go get him. Where did he go? <laughs> oh my god. You're crazy. <laughs> you are crazy. Well, um, somebody's excited that you're home. Are you excited that I'm home? <laughs> you guys, I think that she's starting to realize that I'm pregnant and so she doesn't like me anymore and she just likes Josh. Cause she does not get this excited when I'm home. <laughs> well, okay, she's content. She can chew her bone now. Whew. How's it riding your motorcycle home? It's good. No geckos this time, huh? Not that I know of. <laughs> but I like prepared myself. I was like, okay, if a gecko like jumps on me, like don't freak out. Just gotta ride it out. <laughs> <laughs> but nothing happens. So. Mayonnaise. You like mayonnaise? I like mayonnaise in my fruit. 
Oh, you're right. You're a weird mayonnaise person. I'm kidding. Dang, girl. You put it on thick. I know. I'm sorry. Oh, that that looks... does that make people want to gag? Oh my gosh, that's like you're frosting a cake. You are frosting a cake with I mayonnaise. I don't even like frosting on my cake. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, guys. It is the end of the vlog. Vlog. Vlog, vlog. Um, vloggity, vloggity. You know what? I was telling Kayla earlier, I watched the video. That video that's going around, you probably have already seen it. You can probably look it up on YouTube. But it's the um, spoken word. Spoken word thing about um, being on our technology all the time. So it talks about like everybody looking at their phones and um, you know, just like worrying about Facebook and stuff like that. So, big topic for us because we vlog our lives and we count on you guys, or not count on, but we um, do it because we think people We do it because, watch. yeah, you guys are watching. And I was thinking, um, you know, like this whole vlog thing is very social media. We're using YouTube, we're using Facebook. We don't have a Twitter account yet. I don't know if we will, but I just wanted to say that we feel so much better when we go out on our days off and we do things like going to the museum or going to the beach. And it's only the days that we don't do anything that we usually say like, oh, today was horrible, today wasn't very fun, or we felt like the day went by way too fast. So this is my challenge to everybody. We know that you enjoy us filming things so that you guys can see what it's like to live here um, more as the tourist side. But my challenge is to make sure that you guys get out there and you guys go experience things. I want people to experience um, these things through their own eyes and not just ours. It's good to have a balance. So after you watch this vlog um, or the next day, go out and do something. How about you guys tell us, number one, tell us where you're from in the comments and then tell us the, the most fun thing you've ever done where you live. Because I know a lot of oh, people yeah, yeah. watch these vlogs and they're like, man, I want to move to Hawaii one day. And I know that for a lot of you, that's your goal. But you got to enjoy where you live right now, too. Mm -hmm. So tell us the most fun thing you've ever done yeah. where you live now. Honestly, the area that I grew up in, it wasn't like a tourist destination. I mean, I guess we we're close to Napa, so you can go to Napa. But reality is, we did not go to Napa. But as a kid, that never bothered me. I never thought... And you know, it's not like I didn't travel as a kid. We went to Disneyland all the time. My parents, we always were going off doing something. Um, at least a couple times a year, we'd go off to do some type of vacation. But as a kid, it didn't bother me at all not being in a place. It didn't bother me being where we were. So I feel like sometimes we need to be like kind of child-minded and be happy. Like you can find um, fun things to do no matter where you are. I would say that growing up in Oklahoma as a kid, was like one of the best things ever. Being that child-minded person, like that is the thing, that is what you have to hold on to. So I hate when people are like, you need to grow up, you need to do this, you need, it's like, yeah, you need to be an adult and you need to make adult decisions, but you also need to like retain like enjoying things just for what they are. It's crazy. I'm, I'm going to work and Kaylee are going, we're going to work to make money to pay to live here. And what's nuts is when you really think about it, like, we, I go to work five days out of my seven days of the week so that I can live here. I get two days where I don't have a responsibility for work, but I usually have to do something else. So it ends up being like, how many hours of my day even enjoy where we live? So it's like, sometimes you have to think, it's not about that new car. And I love cars, and I love motorcycles. And you know that, you see what I have. Um, that's different. There's a whole bunch of story behind everything that happened. I know that you guys probably look at us and think you guys are the luckiest people ever. You have cars, you have a motorcycle, you live in Hawaii, you have this nice condo, and I totally agree with you. But I'm saying, like, you have to enjoy the simple things and do something you love to do. Search for the job. Like, if you're, if you're doing a job for just making the money, like, think about that. Like, sit down and think about your life. You are doing a job to pay to live. But really, honestly, the people that have really made it, you look at their life and they took a risk. I mean, that's really what they did. They took a risk. And everybody's gonna fail, but you have to like, keep moving on. And I'm just talking to myself here because that's what I'm going through right now. I have to take more risks. Or keep striving towards something I want. Thank you for listening to me tonight. Thanks for uh, watching like Josh under the spotlight. <laughs> I got in the spotlight on purpose. <laughs> Alright guys, we will see you tomorrow.
we're both working same time tomorrow, so um, usually... So that means nothing, No, probably. it does mean something, because it seems like we film more when I'm here than when... Oh! I'm just saying. All right, well, we're gonna go to bed. Thanks for watching today's video. Give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment what's the most fun thing. I keep wanting to say funnest, but that's not a word. Whatever. The Maybe. most fun thing that you've ever done where you live now. Okay? Not only that, name the most fun thing, name where you're from, the most fun thing that you uh, have done, and uh, a dream that you're moving towards. And it can be so unrealistic, it doesn't matter. Just something, a dream. Just mention your dream. Right. Good night. Good night, guys. What is that? What is that?